Educational Academy. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is conversation design. You signed up for the course, so you have some understanding of it, but we really want to talk about what this role is in a conversational team. The learning goal of this video is to really understand what conversation design is and what the conversation designer does. So do you know who this is? This is Maeve, and she's a character on the TV show called Westworld. And Westworld takes place in the near future. And Westworld is a fantasy park where people go and they interact with robots. And these robots are hosts in the park. So Maeve is actually a robot. And she seduces people that come to the park, but she's also very obedient and serves them. And if we look at the bot landscape for both voice assistants and chatbots, there is a great similarity between the two. Because we can use chatbots and voice assistants for customer service, but also for sales and persuasion. What's also great is that you see the combination of artificial intelligence and actually writing dialogue. And that combination is also very relevant for the chatbot and voice assistant industry as it is today. So what you see in this whole ecosystem is that we can use chatbots and voice assistants for service and sales and that there's always a combination of artificial intelligence and writing dialogues, designing conversations. So this image is from the movie Her. It's also a movie that takes place in the near future. It's about a guy that buys an OS and, you know, he builds a relationship with that, with that voice assistant. So they get involved in a great relationship together. And what this movie shows is that in the near future, humans and bots are going to be living closer together. And they're going to be working together and doing all kinds of things together. So what that means is that they have to learn to communicate. And that's what the conversation designer helps with. He helps AI and humans to communicate. And that's an important role. So conversation designers make chatbots and voice assistants more helpful, natural, and persuasive when they talk to users. When you have a conversation between robots and humans, then there's two things that stand out. One has an artificial brain, and the other one has a human brain. And they both need something else to function. So a robot brain, an artificial brain, needs structured data. So it needs to understand intents and context and entities and variables. And natural language understanding, a subset of artificial intelligence, helps him do this. So it turns natural language, you know, the way that humans speak, and it processes that and it translates that to structured data that the robot can then understand. That triggers something in the robot and then it can respond. But humans have a different brain and they need something else to function. They need empathy, helpfulness, persuasiveness, sometimes a pat on the back. So when we design conversations and we write the dialogue, we want to make sure that the text that we write sort of adhere to that functioning of the human brain. So a conversation designer needs to understand the limitations and capabilities of both the artificial and the human brain. So as a conversation designer, we need to understand technology, psychology, and copywriting. So as a conversation designer, you're gonna learn a lot of micro skills and learn certain methods that's gonna help you perform and create better experiences. So let's talk about where conversation design is needed. We've already mentioned two important ones. We can use them for chatbots, and chatbots can be used anywhere. Customer service is an obvious one, but you can also use them for sales and persuasion. You can use chatbots to make people fill in a form. Uh, or you can use chatbots in your HR department, where people can ask questions about how, how many holidays they still have. But conversation design is also crucial for making voice assistants sound a bit more natural. So the Google Assistant, Alexa, and who knows what's coming out in the next few years. But for everything voice related, you're gonna need a conversation designer to create a good experience for the users. 
But it doesn't stop with chatbots or voice assistants. You could easily imagine robots keeping lonely people company or maybe greeting you in the hotel lobby. There are so many applications for AI and robotics, and every time they interact with a human, you're gonna need a conversation designer to make that experience a bit more natural and a bit more friendly. But conversation design is gonna change over time as well. So what we're doing today will definitely change in the next few years when AI gets smarter and more important. So when you look at chatbots, most use cases right now, you're just going to be making frequently asked questions a bit more conversational. But as the market matures, we're going to be creating more transactional dialogues. So instead of just asking a question, we're going to help users actually do stuff, like order a pizza or change an address or book a hotel room. So we're going to be integrating with backend systems. That's going to make the dialogues a bit longer and a bit more trickier to design. And the next step is conversational AI. So when there's more AI involved in conversational AI, then the role of the conversation designer really changes. So right now, I would say that about 10% of conversation design is AI and 90% is you actually writing the dialogue. Eventually, that balance is gonna shift. So a few years from now, maybe 50% of the interaction will be AI driven and 50% of it will be written by you. So what that means is you're not gonna be writing all the dialogues, but you're also gonna be setting and designing the parameters within which AI can operate. So conversation design is a really exciting field. Humans and bots are gonna be living together and they're gonna learn how to communicate with each other. And right now, you're gonna be a conversation designer, you're gonna be writing lots of dialogue. But you're gonna be very close to all development in artificial intelligence and conversational experiences. So we don't know exactly what the role of the conversation designer is gonna look like five years from now, but we do know that's gonna be a very important role. So let's sum up. Conversation design is really about making an artificial brain communicate with a human brain. And we're gonna be using copywriting techniques for that. So we're gonna be learning about technology, psychology, and copywriting. I'll see you in the next class. Conversational Academy.